Welcome back to this War of Mine Fading Embers DLC. It's the beginning of day 25. Last night we went to, I forgot what the location was exactly called, but a place that sold cars looking for the car engine that we need to finish fixing the truck since we've already found the fuel. We found somebody there who's willing to trade it to us, but they want one of the items from our collection. And while we are there, we also found a bunch of components, wood, and a pistol. Although I probably don't have any ammunition. Do I? Oh, I have one bullet? I don't know how ammo works in this game. Is this considered just one bullet? It probably is, right? It certainly looks like that. Maybe not. This could be like considered a magazine for the pistol. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, that's what we need to do for the day. Anja is tired. So go rest. Ruben, you're also tired. Go rest. I think everybody's tired. Yeah. Gonna keep working you to the bone, Zaron. Sorry, buddy. No other paintings need to be helped out or anything like that. Let's go stock up the fire a bit more. Stoke the fire. See if we... Mm, I don't have any vegetables, so I can't make any food. Well, I can't make any food efficiently. I could turn the raw foods into food. Hmm. Now that I have wood and components, let me see what I can make. Like, can I upgrade this to a vegetable garden yet? No, I need more wood and more components. But not that much more wood and components. Another shopping run. And I should be good to make a vegetable garden. In the meantime, is there anything I want to make? Don't really need any of these things. Water hasn't been an issue. I have plenty of fuel right now and I can always go get snow. I have a metal workshop. Anything I want to make there? Don't really have anything I need to shovel, to be honest. I have a lockpick. Hmm... Oh right, crowbar is not the same as like the saw thing that can get through metal bars. No, I think this is just like a lockpick, but it works on multiple doors, but it's loud. So no, I actually don't want that. What about upgrading this thing? That also takes a lot of wood and components. I don't think there's anything more for me to do today, really. Just let them rest until they're not tired. And then have Zeron do some resting and... I think that's it. Everybody's just hungry and tired. Fire stoked again. People rested. Just end the day. So we're going back to the car workshop. Yeah. Let's have Zaron and Ruben guard. Anja's going to scavenge. Anja's necklace. Anja's necklace has been passed down through her family for generations. It can buy us the much needed parts, but it's one of her last family heirlooms. Yeah, God, I don't want to give that up. That's so fucked up to give up, but we need that truck part. I'm going to take it. Don't believe I'll need any weapons. I'm not going to kill that person. As much as I think they're a bit of a douche. I've already been there. I don't need another lockpick. Yeah, that's it. Alright, fucker, I've got your gold. Hey, what's this? Oh. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Leave while you still can. I'm I'm sorry, how did you know that I was stealing this? You just sensed it with your spidey senses two doors away? Can we still have a normal conversation? It's you again, did you come to see Birdie? Who are you talking about? My car, of course. 
There are two loves in my life. My car and good old gold. <laughs> That's right, smartass. Nothing could hurt my lucky birdie. She survived two bombings and a raid. Seems like you two have a special connection. We do. Once the war is over, I'll give my birdie a glorious repaint. Well, let me guess. You'll paint her gold. You bet I will. <laughs> okay, so we actually can trade him the thing? Now? Because they spidey sensed us trying to steal two doors away? They have a knife, don't they? I think I see a little knife there. Okay, I have an idea. Right, I restarted the day. Thankfully there wasn't much to redo, because I basically just have everybody sleep, stoke the fire, and that's it. <laughs> um, I'm still going to take this necklace with me, but let's take that pistol, some ammunition. I wonder if I can scare the person just by pointing a gun at them. Maybe I don't have to shoot, you know? Because I'm thinking that maybe I can steal it. Like, I thought I searched this place thoroughly before, and there was no car part, I think. So I thought I have to trade with the person to get it, but now I'm wondering if maybe it might be there now? I don't know why it would be. But I want to try and just sneak around and see if I can find it, and if not, I'll try pointing a gun at them, maybe. Really hope I don't pull the trigger. I really don't want to do that for a freaking car part. But it really is life or death, you know? So let's not run in this time. Let's go nice and slow. Wood and components are the things I need most. I'm just going to leave the other stuff, I guess. Let's just drop the other stuff, actually. So, is this thing loaded, by the way? How does this work? I don't know how guns work. I mean, it must be... It must be loaded, right? How else would I... Load it? I don't... Yeah, I don't know how that works. I can take cover. Oh, two raw food. Hell yeah. Yeah, it says like one ammo up here. I think that's just one bullet. I think. Okay, so they're right there. I guess I'll go down the stairs. If we just walk, it should be fine, right? Nice and easy. Now, you're not going to just magically know I'm stealing this. What? Are you serious? Okay, that is just silly. Come on. Alright, how do you like this? Do I have to shoot? You know what? Fuck you. I'm done with you. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're doing so good, Anja. Right. So they magically know that I'm stealing from them two doors away. Alright then. 
Okay, this time I'm taking the gun and the round, and also a knife. And I'm not even going to bother taking my necklace. I'm just going in for the kill at this point. They've annoyed me so much. Hey. Did you get me something nice? Yeah. I think I did get you something nice. Oh, I can have a pistol plus knife. Oh, is that a backstab? I didn't know that was a thing. Come on, come on, Anja. There we go, my god. Oh. So do they have the engine part on them, or... Or what? Lethally wounded. Oof. We'll make it back, right? Didn't we have the freaking part on them? Just have another knife. Alright, I'm just gonna look around. Like, let's look at this thing that I was going to be stealing. Oh yeah, they can't sprint. There it is! Yeah, I guess there's no way to get that non-lethally. Even though I can get to it sneaking around, you saw what happened when I tried to loot it. Quietly. They still just ran in. I guess I could try to steal it before they stab me? I don't know. Alright. Let's drag our bleeding body around here. Hopefully I don't just suddenly die. Like, what does lethally wounded mean? Does that mean I'm just going to die? Like, I'm, am I guaranteed to die, or what? Am I wasting my time? I have a lot of bandages at home, so... Getting healed up shouldn't be a problem. Oh, so much wood. Components and wood are what I'm looking for. I guess I'll keep two knives. Allow the people guarding at home to guard better. Slightly. I don't really need fertilizer. It's a lot of wood, but not a lot of components. I'll just finish this sack of wood and finish this stack of components. Then I think I'll just get out of here. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Run, in air quotes, to the exit. I'm really disturbed by the wording, lethally wounded. Honcha's back, so they survive. They're going to get a bandage and bed rest all day. I've got the bandages, and now I'm going to need them too. We've been raided. Managed to fend them off. None of us were wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. Okay. Yeah, Anja. Get a bandage. You are tired. You are very tired. Just gonna stoke the fire and have everybody sleep, pretty much. Well, I guess I should have Zoran sleep instead of Reuben. Because Zoran is very tired. I'm one component short of making the vegetable garden. Alright. I just gotta cook this food, then. Ooh, wait, maybe not. Oh, oh, oh god, I was actually about to eat it, not cook it. That would have been terrible. Um, lethally wounded, but bandaged. All 
right. Let's hope they recover. Let's go see who's at the door. Hopefully someone I can trade with. Who's that? Oh no. That's the Colonel. What am I going to tell them? If you came to see Melena, she isn't here. Actually, I came to talk to you. I have an offer. We've considered your offer, Colonel, and we're not interested. And did you consider the gravity of your situation? My orders are clear. Everything you see around you will be destroyed. This place will be burnt to the ground. You'll lose everything that you're trying to save. We'll see about that. Malena has devoted her life to saving the museum. And she will lose it. And who knows what else. You can find me at the military outpost. My soldiers will let you in. My offer stands. Bring the painting with you and save the whole collection. Don't let this madness destroy everything you care about. I think we need to get out of here before we have to deal with the colonel again. So let's go put the engine part in the truck. Objective achieved. What's this? Can't leave now, we have nowhere to go. Oh, there's a leave button. Huh. So it does actually tick off when you do an objective. I think that's the only objective I've ever completed. Even the build a second heater thing I've never done because it feels kind of pointless. Move the collection to the main storage, so that's done. Yep, that's all done. Uh, I could build another heater just to take it off. I guess. <laughs> sure. I really don't think the vegetable garden... I don't think we're going to have time to make that, so... I'm kind of abandoning that as an idea. Let's just put it in the same room as the other one. I don't think it matters, the placement, and it makes sense to have it in the same area. There we go. Do I have the stuff to upgrade it? No, I don't have enough thermoregulator. How much fuel do I have? Twelve. Is it worth putting fuel in this thing? Because it eats fuel like it's it's a really hungry fire. It's very inefficient. I don't know, I'll put one in there. I'll put two. Ah, whatever, I'll do it all the way. I'm just curious how warm it can even get in here. We should get well above 20. That did check the objective off, right? Yeah. And let's go cook that food. Inefficiently, but we gotta do it. Ooh, I actually need a bit more fuel. Well, got a good amount of wood. Plus 22, plus 23, plus 24. That's actually almost kind of hot. I'm going to be a bit conservative with how much food I make. I could make it all, but... Instead... Let's just make two and give it to Zoran, I suppose, because they're very hungry. Should I give it all to Zoran? Or should I give another one to Anja? Will they recover better from their woundedness if they're not hungry? They might. Let's give them the food. God, Anja, you're in such bad shape. They're staying in bed all day. And all night. Okay, that's good. Now we have the army base. I don't want to go there. 
Oh yeah, we can't even take on just scavenging if we wanted to, and I wouldn't anyway. So they're staying in bed. Everybody's content, thankfully, I think, because we fixed up the truck. Ruben has a little bit more space, so let's take them scavenging. So Ron will guard. I think I want to go to the army base. I'm not going to take the painting with me, but I just want to loot it. Obviously there's danger, but they said that they would let me in. So I assume they're not actually going to shoot me. So I don't think there really is danger, unless I provoke them, right? I'm not going to take anything. Or should I take a knife? No, we already have like no room. Anyway. Stop, take one more step, and I'll shoot you. Are you looking for trouble? I came to see the colonel. He's expecting me. You must be one of those museum people. Wait there. Officer, walk that Viceni to the colonel. You can go in now. Eh, alright. I'll walk you to the colonel's office. Don't- oh, stay close, okay. Okay, maybe this isn't gonna be the loot run I thought it was. I, I better stay close. Whoa. You two, stop fighting right now. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna go to the colonel and just say, like, Hey, I didn't bring the painting, fuck you, I just wanna loot the place. We'll see how that goes. This place is huge. Stay there. I'll let them know you're here. Okay. Colonel, someone from the museum wants to see you. Alright, bring him in. Yes, sir. You can see the colonel now. He's waiting for you. I hope you bring good news. I don't. Oh, I'm worried about this. Close the door. You came all the way from the museum. I assume you brought the painting with you. Give me a sec. Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. I'll give you more time, but don't try to test me. Can I loot now? Do you, uh, do you mind? The guard outside will walk you out. Oh fuck, I gotta stay close again, don't I? They wouldn't notice if I pocket some stuff behind him, right? Right? Would they? No, I think they noticed. Thief. Okay, yeah, this whole thing was a bad idea. I'm restarting the day. <laughs> I, I don't know how you're supposed to loot this place. Maybe maybe you're free to loot it once you give them the painting, because they're like, okay, you're a friend, sort of. I mean, the only alternative I can think of is if you kill them all, but there's no way you could do that. There's so many soldiers and they're so well armed. There's no way you could do that as just one person. 
All right, let's try this day again. End the day, nice and warm. Yeah, you're gonna keep sleeping. You're gonna guard, and Ruben's gonna scavenge. Forget the army base. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff at the railway station. Some materials, lots of parts. Yeah. Yeah, let's go there. I don't know if I need this lockpick. I don't remember if there's anything locked there. I don't need a weapon, though. Oh, that's a nice detail. Remember, they wanted the Sefer Hazohar in exchange for smuggling the children, the orphans, through whatever tunnel they're making. And remember that Ruben said that they won't do it. They won't give up the Sefer Hazohar. It's just totally against what they believe in. So they make it so that this dweller won't steal the item. It's a cool little detail. Unfortunately, Ruben doesn't have much storage space. Just eight slots. Seven now with the lockpick. Oh, there's bars up there. Ooh, sugar. Food is a major concern right now. Vegetables, yes. Do I need more wood or components? I guess wood for fuel, because I'm kind of running low on fuel. Let's drop the sugar and the parts. space for more wood. Mixer. Guess I'll take that for trading. But I'll still dump it for wood if I find it. Herbal meds. Hmm. I'll take that, actually. I don't think we have any meds, or very little if we do. Hi, don't mind me. Just searching through your rubble. More wood, yes. I think that's it. You want to say anything? You dug all these tunnels? We extended an old network of stone mining tunnels. It underlies a large part of Pagorn. And where's it going to take you? We hope to breach the caves south of the city. That would take us safely beyond the enemy lines. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's go home. I'm glad I didn't make all of the raw food, because now we have enough to make one double food. I hope Melena comes back. We've been raided. Thankfully, we were all armed. None of us were wounded. They didn't steal anything. Good. Anja has some ugly looking wounds. This seems very serious. Okay, so it's not as serious as it was before. Severely wounded instead of fatally wounded. That's an improvement. <laughs> All right, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to continue on day 27.